G'day guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane the Queen of Belmain. Today we're going to talk about five things that everyone should be doing with their German Shepherd. Before we kick off, I just wanted to make sure you guys understand I'm not a dog trainer or dog behaviorist in any which way of the matter. I'm merely a German Shepherd dog enthusiast and crazy dog dad who loves hanging out with his pup and filming. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing that you need to be doing with your German Shepherd is getting them in the water. You need to be taking your German Shepherd swimming. Now, German Shepherds aren't natural swimmers like, say, a Golden Retriever. But if you get them in the water frequently enough and kind of try to get them in the water from a young age, they do end up excelling in the water like no other dogs. So Lucy is probably the best swimmer I've ever seen in any dog that I've seen personally. Um, she loves it, she dock dives in, she will swim all day. Now, uh, an amazing thing about swimming is it is I contribute swimming to Lucy's physique. Hey, it's kept her very lean, very muscular, it ties her out, and it's very low impact on the joints. And also, if you're near a beach or the fresh or the ocean, the salt water, it is really good for the coat. I also contribute the fresh salt water to Lucy's coat, keeping it nice, gets all those little bits and pieces out of it. And then I just give her a fresh water rinse down when I get home so the salt water doesn't aggravate her skin. So when taking a German Shepherd to the beach, for instance, there's just one thing to be mindful of, and is if your German Shepherd consumes a little bit too much salt water, one, they're gonna get a little bit dehydrated, so make sure they drink some fresh water afterwards, but two, don't throw them into the back of the car straight away, because generally, the salt water is going to cleanse their entire system, so they're gonna have some mad seawater diarrhea for about an hour after swimming. So, if you need to get home in a hurry, I highly recommend maybe just take them out of the water 45 minutes to an hour before you want to go home and make sure they go to the toilet and then pop them back in the back of the car. Or you're going to be cleaning the back of your car out. The number two is socializing with German Shepherd in other places than just the dog park. Now, my wife and I are big advocates of trying to include Lucy in a lot of things that we do. So one of our favorite things to do, we love going to cafes and having coffee and going to restaurants and things. So we love to use these opportunities when we go out to include Lucy. So when we first started doing it, we used to take Lucy to the park first, tire her out, and then we'll take her up to the cafe. We get her to sit down and relax while we'd enjoy a cup of coffee. And by doing this, we could also expose her to cars and traffic and and other people and yappy dogs. And it was really good to be able to implement the basics of the basic training that we had learnt and implement them in getting her to just sort of sit, stay and be quiet under a table and enjoy the atmosphere. So it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's something that my wife and I love doing with Lucy. And Lucy really enjoys coming out with us and just doing some people watching. Um, now, obviously, uh, we've been doing this for quite a while, so we don't have to. We can go straight to a cafe from home now and we can have a coffee first and she's more than happy to chill out and relax. And then we'll take her to the park after to get her funny beans out. But if you're new to this, um, I recommend have like on lead walking down pack. Don't have them dragging you down the road and also probably take them to the park first just to burn off that initial funny beans and then take them up to the cafe and have a coffee, sit down, relax, and implement some of your basic training to so you can actually enjoy your coffee in peace. Okay, number three, exercise. Getting people to ask you for permission to pat your German Shepherd or German Shepherd puppy. Now, what I mean by this is, when Lucy was about four months old, we had a, an incident where we had a, a young lady come running up to Lucy. She saw this gangly little German Shepherd puppy. She dove down and just started ruffling her up, didn't ask me for permission, started playing with her, and Lucy was going through a teething phase. She was kind of very mouthy. You know, she was very mouthy, very bitey, and Lucy gave her a couple of nips on the hand. It was only very playful, it was just her, you know, puppies use their mouth as their, that's their hands. It's what they have a feel and touch and this is what they do. You know, so Lucy gave her a little couple of nips and this girl kind of stood back and went, oh, the puppy bit me. I went, hang on, yes, she was mouthy and she was just playing with you. We're actually in the middle of getting her out of this mouthy phase, but you never actually asked me for permission, so stop acting like the victim. So I just informed her that next time she comes running up to a German Shepherd puppy, or a German Shepherd, it's probably best practice to ask the owner for permission. 
Number four, take your German Shepherd hiking. Now, apart from the obvious health benefits, you're both keeping fit, there's a whole bunch of different other reasons as well. One of my favorite reasons why I love taking Lucy hiking out of the city, out into a, somewhere, some dense bushland or some beautiful tracks out in the wilderness is because Lucy's personality changes. She changes as a dog. She turns from this lovable larrikin right here um, or that silly puppy you see at the park into this, she turns into this like alpha wolf type predator. And it's just really interesting to see the way she moves, the way she interacts, and the way she gets to use her nose and, and, and smell all these strange smells of wild animals and that it, it really makes her quite primal and it's really fun to see. Not to mention the bloody dopamine hit that this dog gets from going out hiking. She has the time of her life and even like a half day of hiking, that will honestly knock her out for two days straight. She's just so over, like her brain is just an overdrive trying to process all that new information of the areas that we're in. Now, a couple of tips when it comes to hiking. If you're in a country like Australia, we bait a lot of our feral animals here. Now, the last thing you want is your German Shepherd tucking into some, some bait that's meant for a fox in some particular area that you decide to go hiking. So just make sure you do your check, jump online and just research your area and see when they are baiting and see when they're not. And also just be cognitive of signs and things around. Number five. Find other German Shepherds to play with and get involved into your local German Shepherd community. A couple of great reasons why is when we got Lucy, we got we became friends with a whole bunch of other people who had very similarly aged German Shepherd puppies. Thus, as we were bringing up our puppies together, we were able to exchange knowledge and information to one another. We were able to give tips and tricks and we were able to refer each other uh, different trainers and things like that. So that was really great. It kind of felt like we were going through this journey together with our German Shepherd pups instead of going through this uncharted territory all alone. And lastly, with this, there's nothing quite like watching a bunch of German Shepherds play with one another. Now, I find with Lucy especially, now she, she tolerates all animals. You know, no other dogs are an issue with her at all. She's not aggressive to any other animals, um, but she's a bit of a snob. When other dogs in the park come up and want to play with her, other dog breeds, she's like, mm, no thanks. You're not a German Shepherd, don't want to bar you. But when it comes to her German Shepherd friends, it's, com it's a completely different story. She loves playing with her German Shepherd counterparts. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like, drop a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.